Today's episode is sponsored by Atlanta Sports Trap, located at 5615 Memorial Drive, Stone Mountain, Georgia, 30088. Atlanta Sports Trap is your number one shop for all your sports apparel and your sports accessory needs. When it comes down to sports jerseys, man, they got it all. From NBA, NFL, MLB, NCAA, down to MLS. Now, if they don't have it, all you gotta do is put in a request for whatever jersey you want. But just know this now, once you put in that request, say my nigga, you gotta prepay. Yeah, you gotta prepay. They got the Michelin S throwbacks, the Nike City Edition, Nike on Field, Cooperstown, look here, bro. If you name it, they got it. Players jerseys who you forgot about, like Steve Francis, Latrell Sprewell, yeah, the nigga that choke niggas, Tim Hardaway, yeah, all that. You know they got the legends now. They got Michael Jordan, you know that, but check this out. Not 23, 45, yeah, 97 NBA finals, you know what I'm talking about? Or that Allen Iverson Georgetown jersey, <laughs> you know they got that. Yeah, they got any Kobe Bryant jersey you need now. That black one with the Los Angeles, yeah, the cursive letters, yeah, that 96 thing, yeah, yeah, man, I had one there when I was 16. I stole it, but it was mine. That's a whole nother story. Shipping is always free, and it's shipped the same day, if not the next, that's guaranteed. USPS first class shipping, unless you order three or more items, then it's ship two day priority. That's right, my nigga, two days. Now, you can follow them on Instagram at SportstrapATL, that's S-P-O-R-T-S-T-R-A-P-A-T-L for the niggas that can't spell. You can also hit them up on Facebook at Atlanta a sports trap. You gotta stay tuned for the new items and the new sales that they got coming soon. They're gonna be giving away a bunch of uh, giveaways too now, so y'all make sure y'all turn them goddamn notifications on. Now, here's the best part about the whole thing. You know you can get something off my name, you know what I'm saying? Hey, when you check out, use the promo code TDFM and you're gonna get 10% off. Yeah, you know me, nigga. One of the few niggas you walk in the trap, you say my name, you might get the shit for free. Atlanta Sports Trap located at 5615 Memorial Drive, Stone Mountain, Georgia. Man, y'all gotta go holler at them, man. Go, go Check the IG out, man. Everything fire. You know what I'm talking about? Shit. Back to the show. T the fucking man. T the fucking man podcast. It's me. Now, uh, this podcast, I'm going to say off the top, this podcast is for everybody that like when I roast motherfuckers. Yeah, it's going to it's gonna be one of them. Um, if you're looking for the hot topics, give me like five, ten minutes with this intro. And if you're looking for that fire roasting, just go ahead and fast forward to the uh to the closing session. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna explain why good, genuine stand-up men, we can't have genuine friendships with these bitches out here. Oh, they some fucking savages, man. They some scavenger ass bitches, man. Listen, they all broke. They all <laughs> Remember, y'all remember when Steve Harvey said he ain't got no female? That's some real shit. A man that's a man that's having it his way out here, nigga. Don't none. Of, you can't have no female friends. These bitches is, you know what I mean? They square ass prostitutes. I'm gonna explain that shit later. These bitch, these bitches don't even know how to hold for real, and they fuck over real motherfuckers. That man, I, I'm I'm explain that later. But first, I want to start off. I want to do a recap of some shit that happened on Facebook. <laughs> Like a week, maybe two weeks now, it happened. Um, salute to all the uh, the real ones out there in Texas, kind of Texas. Fuck that nigga Bruce Aaron, straight like that, straight like that. Fuck that nigga. Um. <laughs> all right, let, let let me let me let me start. All right, I'm gonna go back to uh, 2012, 2013. I think it was 2013. I signed my first distribution deal with Prosper Records. And at the time, come on, man. When, when, nobody that you was fucking with, no disrespect, nobody that you was fucking with was bringing the quality work that I was bringing. They really wasn't, you know what I'm saying, Sh- shot my own videos, did my own recording, and, you know, shit like that. Like, I never asked you for nothing. All, you, all I did was handle my business and... Here you go, fam. Put that out. All you had to do was distribute the music, get the money, and pay me. So listen, that shit happened back then. I never got paid from the shit, right? The the Death Before the Zona album came out under Prosper Records until I had to put it out myself. Well, what happened was, this is what happened, because it was two versions. If you remember, there was two versions of Death Before the Zona on the digital platforms. One said Prosper Records. One said... BME. So uh I get a nigga the album, he talking about, yeah man, you gotta, you know, you need one of those singles. 
I'm looking like nigga. I got performed. I done shot the video and everything. Performed. You know what I'm saying? Uh, produced by T.Y. Lamb. He he wrote and performed that hook too. I got performed. What are you talking about? That's the single. Everybody's fucking with this. What are you talking about? So he just doing all that bullshit. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck this nigga, man. I don't give a fuck. Listen, anybody know me know that's the type of nigga I am. Listen here, man. If you want to play it like that, you can get it back in blood, son. Fuck the paperwork. Fuck everything. I don't give a fuck what I sign, nigga. You can't take me to court if you... Anyway... Um, so the nigga was just on some bullshit acting like he ain't wanna drop a nigga album. So I went to CD Baby, put the shit out of my motherfucking self. Nigga, fuck you. I'm talking about nigga, not even six months later, probably way less than that, probably not even three months. He was two versions. He put that shit out. The same goddamn version. And then I put mine out in 2014. He made it to where he changed the date and made it look like, see, I know the game now. You went in and you made the release date for yours 2013 when I gave you the shit. But it really came out of 2014 after I dropped mine in 2014. So I'm like, nigga, what the fuck? So he accumulate money on this shit. I'm looking at people really not listening to my version. They listening to his his version that he put out. So you making money. If I'm making money off mines, you making double that. Because everybody going to your shit, right? So I hit the nigga up. I say, man, why is it two versions of woo 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 Oh, man, uh, you know, just a whole bunch of more bullshit. I can get into that, but that's just some, you know, I don't want to be rambling and shit. I'm really trying to get through this, right? So, uh... It, 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 was, it was only like from 2000... From 2014 to about 2017, he was making money off that album, but he's telling me that he's not making no money. Now, by 2015, 2000, yeah, 2015, I started my own distribution shit. Like, you know what, nigga? I'm finna start doing this shit myself now that I discover CD Baby and shit. I'm finna go get my own artist and do my own thing. That's 2000, really like 2016, right? So, nigga, all that shit go down, and I'm like, you know what? I did sign the shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to blame the person that introduced me to this person. That's all on me. I'm going to take my losses, right? So, like, 2014, the nigga had called me talking about some, yeah, man, because he knew shit was fucked up. I wasn't fucking with him no more. So, 2014, 15, the nigga had called me talking about some, uh, yeah, man, uh, we had did some song. I don't even remember the song. The shit was whack as fuck. I just had to destroy the nigga on his own song, right? He talking about, yeah, man, that song that we did, I want to come down there. I want to shoot a video and all that bullshit. I say, oh, yeah, come on down. He heard, he heard the tone in my voice and I know he felt the energy through the phone. Y'all know that boy didn't come down here. That boy didn't come down here. You know what I'm saying? That was the first temperature check. You know what I'm saying? So, nigga, like, a few weeks ago, I get an email, a, re a Reverb Nation. Let me say that again. A Reverb Nation email blast. First of all, nigga, why you ain't got your own website? That's why I do my email blast from on my website. When I do do them, I don't even really do that shit no more. But uh, a Reverb Nation email blast. <laughs> It says new music from Bruce Aaron. That's temperature check number two. I lost it. I lost it. For anybody that when you lose your shit, don't feel bad. That it, it's it's a um it's a release, my nigga. You, sometimes you just gotta get that shit. I, I hit that nigga back. I say, man, pay me my money. You talking about you got some new music which is trash. We're gonna get into that. Um, music is trash. Let's 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 keep it a fox and million. The music is trash. Um, and it, I just lost it. I say, man, cuz I hit him back. I say, bro, just give me my money. I don't give a fuck about your music, boy. Give me my motherfucking money, boy. What is wrong with you? I don't care how much it is. This nigga here talking about some. Well, nobody made money, dog. You had numerous artists. You're telling me nobody made money. Mike Archie ain't make money. Rashawn Arbery. That nigga had a song out called Everything Crucial. That was the hottest shit in the motherfucking city, my nigga. I was out there when that shit came out. You telling me that boy didn't make no motherfucking money, man? For real? So I hit the nigga back. I say, bro, I do this shit now. 
This is what I do. I pay Buku artists every month. This is what I do. Well, this why this why I lost it. Well, if this is what you do, then you know that uh Oh, let me rewind. I asked him for the statements back then when he was talking about one no money being made. I said, give me the statements. He couldn't give me no, no type of paperwork. He act like he had to go to. And you a whole ass nigga for putting your cousin AJ on the motherfucking hook at 22 recordings. Talking about some, you putting everything on him. You putting everything on him. You know what I'm saying? When you can go into that goddamn account, you got an account, you log into the account, you download the PDFs. Uh, the PDF files, you download the uh, CSV files, whatever the fuck that shit called. You can download all that shit. And you can play with that shit. You can put 000 all through that shit. Anybody know that? This nigga gonna tell me, well, if this is what you do, then you know that you can't go into these portals and uh, you can't change stuff up. You can't. Boy, you, well, who the fuck you think you talking to? When I download nigga statements every month, when I pay them, I can go in that bitch and change that shit to zero. There's an app for that. There's an app. For everything, nigga. If you don't sit your bitch ass down, why the fuck you sent me that goddamn email, son? Why you why? You trying to that's the second temperature check, right? So nigga, I ain't gonna get into everything that was said on Facebook and how hot it got on Facebook, but you can go look on my Facebook page, the T the fucking man podcast Facebook page. You scroll and you'll find it. So this nigga, uh, and, and and just like when the nigga, uh, he didn't want to come down and shoot the video because he knew what was up. He can't face me. Right. So my DJ was like, shit, how about y'all get on Facebook live and you say this shit live? He sent a long ass comment. It's all on Facebook. Shit. Why would I do that? Because bitch ass nigga, you know who to play with. You know who to play with. See, nigga, I could have been man. Texas County hopping a skip, man. I could have been on some dumb shit with you, homie. I'm telling you now, the next time you the next time you say something to me, bring my motherfucking name up, anything. I'm getting on that dumb shit with you, boy. Cause that's must that must be what you want. This nigga never stand in front of me. They be doing the fight night shit out there. Hey, hey, somebody uh some somebody tag dirty white. They be out there doing the fight night shit. The fight night shit, I beat his ass. I beat his motherfucking ass. That's on Dully Drive. I beat his ass. On my mama's mama, nigga. You feel me? I beat your motherfucking ass. Boy, quit playing with me. But anyway, I, I, you know, I ain't wake up with violence. It's just, anyway. So, uh, I just want to say this, man. To the little Bruce Aaron nigga. To that little nigga. Right? That's why you ain't prospering. You should change the name of that shit. You should change that shit to failure records. Ain't no prospering going on over there. What is you talking about? Let me ask you this. You still trying to reach out to the older guys, the guys in their 30s and shit. Like, why you ain't got no young niggas on your team? See, I got some young niggas on my team that I pay every month. I got some, you know what I mean? That's because your name fucked up, homie. Everybody I already know. That you sit around and talk about, you know, I hate when niggas be sitting around talking about some, yeah, man, you know, the city be hating, man. There's so much hatred in the city, man. Everybody divided. You divided the city, you bitch ass nigga. Niggas like you divided everybody. And then you got niggas like, I don't mean to brag, I mean, I mean, uh, drag niggas' name in the shit, but you got stand up niggas like Sergeant B. All you do is hate on this nigga. Yeah, man, I got the same thing. Yeah, man, that nigga Sergeant B, he got that, see that compressor right there? Yeah, I went in, I got the same compressor, man. The same compressor as Ricky, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wonder why niggas get the fuck away from you? It's like a bitch. It's like, it's, it's like when you sit around and you talk shit about a nigga all the time to this bitch this bitch wanna go see what's up with this nigga what you think about this nigga more than anybody you sent niggas over there when i came to see this my problem with you homie when i came down there i could have went and worked with that dude i knew the same people you know what i'm saying i had mutual friends and all that salute the jazz man black jazz I don't know where you at, baby, but you was right. I'm telling you right now, I was wrong. You was right. Nigga's a hater. Nigga was hating. He was hating. And you... 
Y'all boys gotta stop fucking up the bag and great opportunities for nothing as bitches, man. Nothing at you niggas be getting these hoes pregnant. Y'all be falling in love with these bitches, and she at the studio getting fucked on the floor by four niggas. They over there on that Mr. T shit. They got this bitch back on the rug. You gets the carpet burns, bitch. What you mean? <laughs> you niggas be crashing about these nothing ass bitches, man. You fucked up. That 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 town could have been a, a hub for music, right? In the Arklatex, right? This is a lot of talented people out there. All that shit was supposed to came together. Word on the street is. When Sergeant built his studio, he got two sides. The other side was for you. He was going to let you run it. That's word on the street. That's what I heard. And you know, I fuck with the, you know, I fuck with the people that matter out there, right? You know, you know, I, you know, I know, you know, I can get that information. Word on the street is when the nigga built the studio, he had a whole side for you. So y'all can monopolize that motherfucker. But no, you mad because he fucked the bitch. Let me tell you a true story. I got a partner. Well, used to be my partner. I don't, I don't even know if we cool no more. I don't be giving a fuck. I don't be keeping up with niggas. You know, that's that Bobby V shit. We ain't, yeah, I don't need you to slow down, bitch. Check this out. Um, I used to fuck with this one nigga. We used to record and shit. We got music together. You know what I'm saying? Cool nigga. In the studio, outside the studio, we was cool. You know what I mean? We used to trap together and everything. Um, but, uh, me and my baby mama, you know, we won together, but we a fuck sometimes, right? <laughs> I go to my baby mama house. I see this hat, this fitted hat hanging on the goddamn door. I look at that hat and I know exactly who hat this is. I didn't say a motherfucking thing. <laughs> I didn't say shit. I say, oh shit, my boy getting the pussy too. I didn't say shit. This ain't my bitch. This ain't my bitch. That ain't my pussy. She do what she want to do with it. The only thing I should be concerned about is my child. Long as nothing happened to my child, baby, I don't give a fuck what you do with the pussy. Can I get a little bit sometime? You nigga, man, and me and that dude made money together. I gamble with my life, not my money. What are you talking about? You niggas be cornered in the motherfucker. You niggas really be suckers. And then... Listen, every girlfriend I had and cheated on me. And I'm, I probably didn't went outside the bitch head before, but not because of that. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real. Not because of that. Bitch cheat on me, I'm out. You know what I mean? If you'll do that, you'll steal. You'll set me up. You'll line me up. I'm out. Go fuck that nigga. This bitch went over there and gave that pussy to four niggas on the studio floor. And when she got home, you beat her up. What in the... You niggas is weak, man. And now you mad at this man forever. You, your motherfucking ass was out there trying to build a team. Nigga talking about, man, yeah, man, nigga was trying to build a table for everybody. No, nigga, you was building a table to compete with that nigga. And this nigga ain't even worried about you. You went and got you a studio and shit. All that shit. You went and built all that shit to compete with this nigga. And nobody used the studio. You record at home. You ain't making no money in there, fam. I bet the light's off right now. I bet the light's off in that motherfucker right now. You ain't prospering in this shit, niggas. Man, man, that's why I don't fuck with this shit no more. No, you can't fuck with this shit no more. Let's say you fucked up everything in your generation, in your era. You ain't even got no young people that want to work with you, man. Because you a sucker. You a sucker. Let me, let me explain. Let me tell you what you should have did. You were supposed to either say nothing. When I posted that shit Or you were supposed to come out and say Nigga fuck you 
get it in blood what you gonna do you was supposed to get on that mr t shit you don't think i got artists that i said man fuck this nigga man i told y'all about little bruh they tagged me on facebook and all that shit that nigga on there talking about yeah appreciate the paypal though sucker I could have let that ride. I could have I could have made it look good like, yeah, we fell out, but I still paid a nigga. I came out and told y'all he's a motherfucking lie. Last time I paid him, it was 53 cent in December 2021. Man, fuck this nigga. This nigga don't get a dime from me, nigga. I don't believe this nigga. He don't get shit. Fuck this nigga. That's what you should have said, boy. But no. You had to be a hoe. You a bitch ass nigga, man. You a sucker, nigga. You a sucker. You you fucked up. You fucked up a great opportunity by the scut bucket, bitch. I don't want to bring up another name in this shit, but fuck it. It is what it is. Anybody can get mad. I don't give a fuck. You know my policy. What you gonna do anyway? I was at a kickback at my homegirl Morgan house. Shout out to Morgan. Y'all know crazy ass Morgan, loud ass Morgan. <laughs> What's up, baby? I'm at Morgan house. She having a kickback for her birthday and shit. That's the first time I met Sergeant. Man, the nigga was so fucking cool. I ain't even know he was in there. That nigga was so laid back. I ain't even know. I looked over. I said, man, that's that Ricky nigga. And he just looked. I said, man, what's up, man? He just looked at me. What's up, nigga? Yeah, nigga wasn't fucking with me because I was, I was fucking associated with your goofy ass. And in all reality, when I look back, I should have been over there. If I'd have gave that nigga perform and all that shit, ain't I'd probably still be out there. You know what I mean? Loyal nigga, man. Loyal nigga, man. I come on, man. You could have you you could have gave me my seventy six cent. You know what I mean? Since you trying to make it seem like niggas weren't making nothing. And the money that I'm making off the album now, I'm still getting paid for it. Bitch ass nigga, you made money off a nigga. You f- hating ass nigga, man. Hating ass nigga. We was at the kickback, at the, back to the kickback, right? So nigga, I go outside and I was fucking with this one little chick. She stayed in the same apartments. I ran over there to holler at her for a little bit. I come back. I was out there. With, I was at the kickback with my, uh, well, I ain't gonna say my nigga. Some nigga I used to fuck with. Uh, I ain't gonna say his name or no shit like that. I come back. I'm looking for this nigga. I said, man, where this nigga at? Oh, he over there with Danielle. I say, who? Hey. Yeah, that's Bruce, baby mama. I say, Lord Jesus. Look, I say, man, you know who Bay Mama is? He say, no, nah, no. Nah. I say, that's the dude. With the, remember the dude? He say, oh, yeah. Oh, she go. <laughs> Nigga, she go. You tripping. But look, I'm, I I told y'all the fast. Let me, let me get off this shit, man. You trip, Hey, boy, don't don't send me that music no more. I'm going to call the police on you, man. You trying to give a nigga brain aneurysm or something. You want me to lose my hearing and shit. Don't send me that shit no more. Don't say nothing else to me or I'm going to come down there and I'm going to kick your little ass in the chest. I swear. I'm going to come down there. Cause you ain't gonna tell these people why you won't face me. I'ma come down there and I'ma kick you dead in the nuts. Right in the motherfucking nuts. And I'm a military trained nigga. Sergeant Madison told me when I was 16 it take four to six pounds of pressure to rip a nigga nuts off. Bitch ass nigga, you better leave me the fuck alone. I'ma hit you with the death. Yeah. <laughs> I'ma hit you with the blue streak. And I'm like, bitch, don't you send me that shit no more. I'm going to take it as a very terroristic threat. You whole ass nigga. Let me, let me get into these topics, man. Hold on, man. No, no, I got some more shit to say. Fuck all that. Fuck all that. Since we talking about music, let me say this too. Because I don't be feeling bad when I be destroying you niggas to keep it real. It's only one rapper that I had to destroy. I was listening to Trap Hop. I was listening to Trap Hop 1, 2, 3, and 4. And uh, I was cleaning up and shit. It got to that silence of the lamb. I was like, damn. Lamb, listen, if we gonna keep it a Fox and Millie on, I ain't patting myself on the back or no shit like that. But if we gonna keep it real, lamb ain't been the same since that back and forth. 
since that back and forth we had. And I'm like, damn. And he's, let me say this, he's by far more lyrical than me. He can out rap me. He can wrap circles around me. But he ain't gonna put that shit together. He ain't gonna produce that shit like me. He ain't gonna. See, a lot of you niggas be scared to go there. You know my policy, man. What? Never mind. Never mind. My bad, lamb. My bad, lamb. I, I ain't gonna say that. I ain't gonna say that. Let me say one more thing, too, since we talking about music. Because I be. Listen. Paying a thousand dollars for an outfit. Shit, paying five hundred dollars for an outfit to go shoot a fifty dollar music video is fucking berserk, my nigga. I don't know who needed to hear that. But listen, I'm recording this shit right now. If you watching this on YouTube, I'm recording this shit right now on an iPhone 7 Plus. This bitch shoot 4K, all that shit. Man, what is you doing on that Android shooting that video, fam? You niggas be shooting music videos on Trilla and shit. You got that quote unquote drip on though. You got, y'all know what I say about drip. I was I was raised in the 90s. Drip ain't what it is, man. Drip ain't. <laughs> you got that drip on though. Yeah, you dripping, all right. You niggas is nuts. Listen, I'm convinced that in elementary school, you niggas skipped addition and went straight to subtracting. You niggas be subtracting like a motherfucker. It don't add up. You niggas ain't multiplying, you dividing, you niggas just don't have it all when it comes to the mathematics. I, I don't understand. It don't make no fucking sense. And these the same niggas, man. Fuck that music shit, man. Ain't no money in that shit. You a motherfucking lie, boy. You a motherfucking lie. And all that extra shit y'all be doing, you ain't even got to do that. You ain't going to. Man, listen. YT shouted, man. Durad shouted, man. Straight like that. <laughs> You ain't got to do none of that. Trust me. You ain't got to listen to me, but trust me when I say you ain't got to do that. Real shit. Let's 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 talk about uh since we talking about distribution music and all that shit. Let's get into these topics, man. Uh, I woke up like two o'clock in the morning one time, well the other day, and I seen Boosie was getting on Gazi and Empire ass about Young Blue, talking about uh Gazi owe him some money. Gazi forged his signature when he got shot and all that shit. Did Empire try to kill Boosie, man? Y'all know what y'all say about Empire. Let's let's let, let's get on some conspiracy shit real quick. Did Empire try to kill Boosie? When he got shot, did they send that hit? Did they did they think he was gonna die? And they forged his signature? Come on now, I know I know it's some of y'all up in here right now. I know you some of y'all up in here right now. Yeah, did they try to kill him like they did Dolphin, King Von, and Mo Three? Rest in peace to all those guys. Is it Empire? Empire? Was it Empire? Man, shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut the fuck up. That nigga Boosie got shot because he was up there celebrating his partner Mo3. Them niggas was going to shoot that motherfucker up anyway. Wrong place, wrong time, nigga got shot. Now, as far as him being mad at Gazi and Empire about, quote unquote, uh, allegedly $10 million. Sir, your problem is with Young Blue, okay? I got a story for that. I want to tell y'all a story real quick. I was fucking with this artist in Atlanta. I had an artist in Atlanta. Nigga go to jail there or something. I think he in jail right now. Uh, I had an artist in Atlanta. He was a solo artist and he was a part of this group, right? He had his own producers and all that shit, right? So, my business was with him. Not those other guys. I didn't even talk to those guys or whatever. So, he was sending music to distribute for his solo shit. He was sending music for the group. You know what I mean? Now, all the money went to this one motherfucker. It's up to him to pay everybody else. Whoever's in his, whoever's in business with him, his team and all that shit, all the money go to whoever the fuck is, you know what I mean? I used to send all the money to him. He never paid nobody else. <laughs> he kept that shit. And niggas was looking at me like, and 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 I'm speaking on it now. A couple of you niggas, I ain't gonna say your name your name and shit, but a couple of you niggas was mad at me, but he got the money. He got the money. 
one of the producers directly had hit me directly and I got his information and I had to take his cut out the shit. It didn't last long, but I had to take his cut out the shit and go directly to him. Pretty much like Universal did Birdman. Okay, you don't want to pay Nicki. You don't want to pay Drake. You don't want to pay Wayne. You don't want to pay these artists. We're going to take these fucking artists from you. We still going to give you your percentage, but we're going to pay them directly because you ain't doing right. That's how they go. That's how they go. So Boosie made that guys in Empire. Here's what happened. When Boosie got shot. Blue probably thought he was going to die. <laughs> Blue say, man, listen, bro, I got a $20 million deal on the table. Boosie ass just got shot. He probably finna die. Blue forged your signature. I don't care what Blue telling you. Blue probably telling you, oh, man, it's all good. Boosie talking about even Blue saying y'all need to pay me, man. Them folks ain't finna give you shit. They gave Blue the money. Blue was supposed to pay you, nigga. Blue, man, listen. I don't always agree with Wack, but Wack broke this shit down. When I seen the video, I said all this shit. And then I seen Wack say the same thing. I was like, nigga, Wack, Wack know what the fuck he talking about. Nigga, Blue was supposed to pay you. They gave all that shit to Blue. They probably asked this nigga, like, man, um, we got we gotta get Boosie, uh, we got we gotta get Boosie to sign this shit. And Blue was like, man, just send me the paperwork. I'll get him to sign it. Nigga signed that shit itself. Nigga had nigga. Y'all remember how niggas used to sign uh you get your motherfucking progress report and you gotta bring that shit back and your mama gotta sign it and shit. I used to sign my mama's name, fam. I did that and I was cold too. They used to believe me. Until one day my mama caught my ass. Got my ass toe up. Got my ass toe up. And she told the teeth, don't you ever believe this nigga? I ain't never signed one of these for this nigga. <laughs> Yeah, man, Blue signed that progress report his motherfucking self. So, Boosie, you need to take that out on Blue, man. Real shit. And, Boosie, you need to sit your ass down, man. You you causing all this shit. Let's say Empire is plotting against your ass. I already told y'all these labels and all these motherfuckers in the industry, they the feds. You keep playing, you keep pissing off the wrong people, boy. You're going to be sitting in the feds. I told y'all Boosie going to go out like... I, I don't want this to happen, but I think he's gonna go out like Nicky Barnes. They're gonna put him in a position where he gotta break all the codes and all that shit he be talking. Real nigga shit. Your, your problem with Blue Boost, that's where your problem at. It's with Blue, man. It ain't it ain't with nobody else. It with Blue Blue signed that shit. Blue got your money. And he running your ass. He he got you in the washing machine. He spin cycling your motherfucking ass. Man, I told him to just pay you. They don't owe him shit. You do. Now here's what's gonna happen. For now on. When they drop that album and that money come in, they're going to go directly to Boosie now that they see the shit that Blue did. Okay, nigga, we can't trust Blue. Blue them Blue them hit niggas with the motherfucking flim flam. That goddamn rig. He hit us with that rig. Man, listen, we're going to have to we going to have to go directly to Boosie for now on and they're going to get him his percentage directly. It ain't going to go through Blue. You know what I mean? But I know Boosie mad as fuck cuz that nigga Blue go hard. Blue out here getting it, nigga. That nigga, that nigga out here getting it, man. Yeah, man. Um, I want to talk about uh, Quavo and Offset. They didn't came together. You know what I mean? Uh, I ain't watched the BT Awards, but I seen the clip. That's what's up. I, 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 I'm fucking with that. You know what I mean? Speaking of the BT Awards, nigga, fuck Buster Rhymes. It looked like he copping pleas with Black Americans. He's still talking that Jamaican shit. But well, we need to come together and all that shit. No, it's bitch ass niggas like you. I ain't forgot what you and Fat Joe said about Black Americans. Boy, fuck you. You a whole legend out here for sure. I was a Buster Rhymes fan. Real shit, y'all, y'all, yeah. I was on all that. But you was a goof, nigga. You was a, you was a. You was a you a fuck nigga, man. I'm just leave it like that. Fuck you and Fat Joe. Straight like that. Ain't no copping, no please. Ain't no none of that, nigga. Ain't no none of that, nigga. Fuck all that, nigga. I seen you up there trying to cop please and shit. And then you trying to get all the girls on your side. You shouting out the girls and all that shit. Yeah, you a slick nigga. But that shit ain't getting past me. You bad skin having ass nigga. You need to go have laser surgery on that bad crocodile skin. Then you got skin like the Wishmaster. <laughs> what y'all know about the Wishmaster? 
All you young niggas, don't look up Wishmaster. That nigga got the same skin. He got the same layout. <laughs> Straight like that, man. Fuck the BET Awards. But I want to say this about the BET Awards. For all the women that was there, you hoes was looking trashy than a motherfucker. First of all, sexy red ain't sexy. I'ma just keep it real. Ice Spice is a bag, is a is a is a is a 3.5 or some mid. I'm just come on now. Y'all be hyping these hoes and then you wanna complain when they do shit like at the BT Award. Krishan Rock is a crack baby. Okay. JT is a lesbian. Lil Uzi is a girl. Okay? But let me say this to the black women. The same way they weaponized the behavior of the 90s to scrutinize and drag and beat down black men. All this shit they doing right now. Y'all think it's cool. Y'all think it's lit. All the shit that y'all doing right now. Do your thing. But don't be crying foul five, ten years from now when they weaponize all this shit against y'all to do the same thing to y'all that they doing to us. Cause that's all it is. They building a trail. They, they, they getting, uh, what that bitch said in the Melly case. It's a digital trail. They building cases on you bitches. So when they want to treat you like shit later, well, look at what you were doing at the BT Awards. Look at what you was. So I hope y'all ready for that. Just be ready for that. Do your thing though. If that's what y'all want to do, but just know a nigga like me gonna be saying, I told you so down the line. Real nigga shit. You falling for it. You, 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 you in too deep. Straight like that. Man, fuck the BET Awards, though. Real nigga shit. We still talking about music. Check this out, man. Um, 1-0, Jim Jones. That's all I got to say. Yeah. Even though Push going to come through and sweep that shit up, you know, Push going to get on everybody. Cameron talking about, yeah, don't put me in it, boy. Listen, you in it. You th <laughs> Oh, yeah, you in it. We know, we know Push gonna slaughter this nigga But Jim Jones got round one now Yeah you went and got your brother What happened to that boy Looked like they were selling crack to that boy I said oh shit That boy was full of that shit In the studio that night Boy he was dead serious He was dead serious Round one went to Jim Jones man I don't care what nobody say man Push gonna win though I think Push gonna win Yeah man Um, This podcast is for all the people That know the dope ain't real the vegetables and fruit ain't real. That's fucked up. But I seen some shit to where they making lab chicken. Ah. Now look, y'all remember when the lights went out down here? I got this video on my YouTube page of me outside on that putting that skillet on that fire. That man made fire. <laughs> putting that skillet on that fire, and I was making chicken fajitas. The last couple, I don't, I don't eat meat like that. I don't eat no red meat. I, I ate some water burger like a week or two ago. I ain't gonna cap. If we had bacon on it too, I ain't gonna cap. But for the most part, I don't eat that shit. You know what I'm saying? So nigga, when the last few times I ate the chicken, I, I was wondering like, man, what's up with this chicken, man? It don't. And these motherfuckers talking about, yeah, man, within the next two, three years, we're gonna bring out the chicken. Now that shit out here, they already seeing, they already doing trial runs to see how people respond to the shit. You know, so that shit already out here, nigga. The chicken tastes funny. Straight like that. Did I eat it? Of course. But now that I know for sure, I won't be eating no more. This shit fucked up out here, man. This shit fucked up out here. It's fucked up out here, man. It's all fucked up. Now let's talk about uh let's go to Chicago real quick. I want to talk about that 14-year-old kid that defended his mother that day and killed that bozo ass nigga. Now I'ma be Everybody was I ain't, I ain't gonna say everybody The bitch and the nigga that died was wrong The only motherfucker I'm concerned about Is that little kid Cause he didn't bust his chair And anybody that know You know it's just some shit Sometimes it ain't no coming back from Sometimes you You get that rush and you be like hold on Hey listen Ain't nothing like being a young nigga And and having all I gotta do, all I gotta do is whip out this gun and shoot him. That right there. I ain't gonna put too much of my business out, but every I can never see the world the same way y'all see the world. 
That young man would never look at the world the same way y'all look at the world. He knows shit ain't sweet now. When I go to my mailbox, I got the fire on me. When I when 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 I cut my grass, man. I got the foul on me. Them white folks be looking like, oh my God, who's this nigger's got a gun? Why y'all so scared of niggas with guns, man? My shit legal. Listen, my motherfucking neighbor, I was cutting my grass yesterday. That bitch, this old white bitch always come outside and record me. She thinks she being slick too. It's 100 degrees outside. What's your old ass out here doing playing games on your phone? You's a lie, bitch. You record me. Every time I cut my grass, you sitting back there with that phone in your hand. I recorded her ass yesterday. Hit the cash app, I'll send you the video. Hit the PayPal, I'll let you see the video. No cap. I recorded this bitch yesterday. Fuck you mean. But they scared when they see niggas with them guns, right? But but back to what I was saying, I never look at the world the way y'all look at the world. I can't. I can't. I used to think my daddy was crazy than a motherfucker. Like, man, this nigga here, man. He way different from everybody else. I used to look at everybody else's daddies and shit. Then I look at this nigga. Man, what's up with this nigga? I understand now. Some shit, you just can't look at the world the same as everybody else, man. I ain't going to get into all that, but I'm worried about that little nigga, man. That little boy need to be around some love. Somebody need to get him right now before he, before he do it some more. Because now in his mind, whatever he won't fix, whatever problem he got, just pull out the two. When you a kid, your brain ain't developed. You look, you look at this shit. Like Call of Duty and shit like you do. I mean, all I got to do is... Hey, nigga can't do nothing if I... Man, y'all y'all pray for that little nigga. Y'all, uh, y'all keep y'all eye on that nigga. Straight like that. But let, anyway, let me, let's talk about, uh... Let's talk about this bozo-ass nigga that got killed. Sir, keep your hands off that bitch. She could have been the most trash bitch in the community. You keep your hands off that bitch. That ain't your bitch. I don't care what she was saying. I didn't see her touch you. I didn't see her spit on you or nothing. Nigga, fuck you. You got exactly what you were supposed to get. You got exactly what you were supposed to get. I seen somebody post a meme and say that uh, the nigga went in there for a burger and left with wings. Nigga, I was crying laughing. That's what your bitch ass, your bozo ass get. I don't know if you was high drunk or whatever, but you should have kept your fucking hands to yourself. Now you up there chilling in Thug Mansion. Now you up there playing spades with white Jesus. Straight up. Now you up in that motherfucker trying to get an autograph from Tupac, but he ain't fucking with you. <laughs> Cause you was a bozo ass nigga. You a bozo ass nigga. You got exactly what you was supposed to get. And look, what I told y'all niggas families be coming out. Oh, he was a good person and all that shit. No nigga, we got this nigga in 4K being a piece of shit. Straight like that. Now for the lady. Well... For the bitch It ain't no fucking lady Charleston White hit it on the head A lady would've walked away That nigga would've started cussing and getting on that rah-rah shit A lady would've been like Oh, she the grab, she the clinched her person Oh, I could take my money elsewhere I don't have to eat here And then word on the street is The nigga worked at the spot where he was at Oh, that's how y'all acting? Oh, a, la a grown-ass woman, a lady Especially when she know her kid in the car Oh, what's, bitch, we'll go eat somewhere else, bitch. Shit, I got money, nigga, fuck it. I was just trying to fuck with y'all. Because y'all in the community, fuck it, bitch, I'll take this shit to the east side. Yeah, I'll move on up on you, motherfucker. That's what a motherfucking grown-ass woman, a lady with class would have did. She's sitting there arguing with this dust bunny. Now, listen, when I be calling motherfuckers dusty and shit like that, it ain't about their clothes. It ain't about how they look, it's their behavior, it's their mentality. Both of you motherfuckers was dusty in that bitch, and you two dusty motherfuckers put a 14-year-old child in a fucked up situation. The mother, the, the, the mama should be in jail. Why the fuck does this 14-year-old uh, kid have access to your gun? I don't care if it is legal. Why he got it? Why he shoot? You supposed to shot that nigga yourself. The, 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 I want the mama in jail. Yeah, I know y'all be like, man, T, you really be talking like that now. I was a civilian now. I want you niggas locked up. Because guess what? You motherfuckers would have called the police on me. <laughs> you motherfuckers would have called them on me. I want you locked up. I want you off the streets. 
as a civilian now. You fucking with my life. I worked hard to be this square ass nigga, man. You fucking with my life. I need you locked up, man. I need you off the streets, away from my children, away from my nieces and my nephews, away from my loved ones. I need you locked up. I need it like I need water. I need it like I need oxygen around this motherfucker. I need it like I need food. I need you out my motherfucking way, nigga. Because a motherfucker like you, if I run across your ass in the street, you going to trick me. You're going to trick me back out there. So I need you locked up. I, t- <laughs> I don't give a fuck what y'all talking Man, the street's washed. The street's washed. Ain't nothing to prove. Ain't none of that shit. If you know me, then you know me. If you don't, then don't find out. It's a reason why I roll dolo from state to state. It's a reason why you don't see me with a group of people. I don't need no goddamn code. I don't need no code defendants. I don't need no motherfucker telling the judge. Well, the judge, I did tell him to chill out and I was trying to calm him down, but he wasn't trying to hear that. I don't need none of y'all around me. None of y'all. But anyway, I almost. <laughs> yeah, when I get to talking about the streets, you know what I mean? Hey, salute, salute to that nigga JG out there in Texas County. Boy, we get to talking about them streets. <laughs> man, that shit is very detrimental to black people, man. At some point, we got. Man, never mind. You niggas don't want to be hearing that shit, man. Y'all don't want to hear Martin Luther T. Dog and this motherfucker, man. Y'all don't want to hear that shit, man. Y'all don't want to hear that shit, man. Anyway, who the fuck said Quando Rondo was the leader of the Crips? Since when, man? Bro, since when? Listen, if Quando Rondo was in Shreveport, Louisiana, that boy would be food. He'll be getting extorted. He probably already getting extorted by his partner and shit. He'll be getting extorted. He'd have been trying to rip on King Von by then and shit. Niggas would have been beating him up every time he came to the hood. Why sit your bitch ass down? Leader of what? The leader of what? Boy, y'all white folk get on TV, get in front of them cameras, y'all say any motherfucking thing. <laughs> when they said Quando Rondo was the leader of the Crips, what? You mean the leader of his little clique? And he ain't even the leader of his little clique. I'ma give it to Lil Tim. He busting fire. I thought we was respecting the shooter. Not the nigga that shooting slurs on songs and talking shit on the song and in the videos, dancing with his rag and all that shit. No, man, who putting in that work? It still fucked the streets, but I'm just saying. Man, don't res- man, leader, what? The only time that nigga control shit is when he put money in niggas' hands. Hey, man, uh, I'll give you 10000 to go give me some cigarellos, man. Yeah, man, he go 10000 just go give me some cigarellos. You know, a nigga like that fuck is you talking about man y'all niggas is you niggas is goofy than a motherfucker man man Casanova gets 15 years in federal prison for uh them Rico charges and shit good riddance nigga you had a chance God gave you a chance to leave all that shit alone and go legit and you decided to still be out here repping and live the street life you was disrespecting the mercies of God nigga go sit down when I was doing certain shit, I knew I could go to jail or I could die. We ain't crying about none of that shit. It all come with it, man. That nigga player put me on game about all that shit. Now listen, nigga, this what... I don't want to hear that shit. You did what you did. You did the crime. You got to go sit down. You denounced your gang and all that. You finna get cut again. <laughs> nigga, you finna get stabbed again in that motherfucker. Yeah, man, this what you signed up for. And last time I checked for you went to jail, I saw a video of you standing there saying you's a whole gangster. Handle your business. Y'all be talking about free these niggas. You, the niggas talking about free this nigga and free this nigga more goofy than that nigga. Free him for what? This what he been working for. Free him for what? Goofball ass niggas. You niggas is lame. You niggas lame as hell. It, 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 that, that, that's just what it is. You niggas lame as fuck. 1098 Jake shows that he made a million dollars exposing snitches. 
Boy, y'all niggas know y'all be picking and choosing. You niggas be picking and choosing. Now, now I could be wrong, but didn't 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 uh 1998 Jake? That's what Charleston called him. Didn't 1998 Jake get exposed for being a snitch? Y'all don't like rats, right? Y'all don't like snitches and shit, right? Y'all made this nigga a millionaire. Cause guess what? Regular civilian people, it, he got some of them listening to him, but them people don't give a fuck about that snitch shit. They still listening to Gunner. They still fucking with 6ix9ine. Civilians and regular people out here not involved in the streets, they don't care about that shit. It's you quote unquote street niggas, gangsters, bloods, cribs, GDs, BDs, vice lords, gorillas. It's all you niggas that's watching that shit. Y'all made that nigga a million dollars, but it's fuck rats and all that shit, right? It's fuck gunner. It's fuck 6ix9ine. But you made 1098 Jake rich, and I ain't mad at Jake at all. You will never hear me sit up here and talk about being mad at Jake or Vlad or Adam 22 or none of these niggas, man. Because they mashing on you ignorant, stupid ass niggas, man. What I look like being mad at this nigga making a million dollars for pulling the oop the rig on you stupid ass niggas, man. Get your money, white boy. <laughs> Get your money. If these niggas going to be dumb enough to make you rich, fuck it. Get your money, man. You niggas be picking and choosing though. I ain't looking at Jake sideways. I'm looking at y'all sideways. Like, I thought it was fuck rats. I thought it was fuck all them niggas. I, 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 maybe because he white. Y'all, you know, y'all, you know, y'all fuck over the people that look like you. If, if it's a black person, you think you can have your way with the black person. But the white boy, y'all just, well, he's a, uh, well, uh, yeah, man, y'all, you niggas is suckers, man. That's why I don't, that's why I don't subscribe to no tribalism. Well, man, well, what's up, my brother? I ain't your brother, bitch. What you want? Back up off me. <laughs> back, back, back up off me. Ain't your brother, nigga. The fuck? Lame ass nigga, man. The streets wash, man. For all the young niggas out there, don't let the G code marginalize you, fam. Do what you want to do. Do what you want to do, because these niggas picking and choosing all the motherfucking time. Do what you want to do, young nigga. These niggas is goofballs, and they just want to marginalize you because they can't make it out that shit. They know they was destined to be a failure, and they want to keep your ass down there with them. Do what you want to do, young nigga. Don't let none of this shit hold you back, nigga. All this shit is detrimental to the black man prospering in America. Don't listen to none of these niggas, man. These niggas hopping fences like hurdles, man. They track, yeah, they track stars, man. Yeah. Don't listen to none of these niggas. Do what you want to do, little nigga. Don't listen, definitely don't listen to these old niggas. They wash like the streets. Straight like that. Charles and White lies about sending Brick Baby to the feds, man. I told y'all Charles and be lying. The police don't fuck with him like that. The police don't. If the police fucked with him like that, he'd have went to Houston that time. They don't fuck with him like that. But that shit was Charleston White funny than a motherfucker. Brick Baby already got on no jump and explained what happened. And I believe Brick Baby. You know what I mean? That nigga Charleston funny as fuck though. That boy had on a police hat. That boy had on a badge and everything. I, I told y'all I was going to get Brick Baby ass locked up. <laughs> that nigga know how to put that content together, boy. He know how to put that shit together. And he a master at that shit too. He a master at that shit. I ain't gonna cap. He he a master at that shit. He be putting that shit together. That shit was funny than a motherfucker, boy. Look, speaking of brick, baby, I was watching a a little clip on No Jumper. He was talking about uh Gunner and shit. He was talking about his relationship with Gunner, his relationship with Thug, and why he really don't uh get involved and say certain shit because he cool. He fucked with Thug, but he fucked with Gunner too. Gunner then helped him out and looked for him, <clears throat> looked out for him on certain shit. So he really don't speak like he could You know what I'm saying And and if you keep it real That's some real shit Cause I'm telling you now If my brother snitch on one of y'all nigga Hey that's my brother <laughs> That's my brother You shouldn't have did it around him How you know what you were doing Shouldn't have did it around him That's why I be telling these niggas now Like listen man Don't do nothing around me man Don't force me to have to tell on you man Yeah I tell on all you niggas now Yeah You the told on me I had to get away from, I ain't going to say no name. I had to get away from certain niggas because, boy, they, I told, these niggas will tell on you, fam. 
when you the one that when you really the one that's live like that and you better be careful they'll tell on your motherfucker get away from them but now i'm telling fuck all that i told y'all on the last episode i be calling police on niggas now man you'll call them on me cuz you'll call the best thing for you to do if you dealing with a motherfucker that you know will call the cops you call them first <laughs> be the one they call them first right but anyway, that nigga Brick Baby say, man, yeah, that nigga Gunner say he finna start pressing you niggas that was talking that shit. And I kind of believe him because when you see Gunner now, you could tell he been working out. He got his diet together. He look like he finna start running up on niggas. <laughs> now, do I believe that Uh, because Brick Baby was trying to save face and shit? He was like, yeah, you know, nigga got a little squabble on him, you know, and he got heart. You know, when niggas start talking like that, a little squabble and then they, 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 they shielded with he got heart and all that shit. He can't fight. No, nah, he can't fight because because if a nigga know you can fight. Listen, man, I got into a fight one time, man, my partner. Well, a nigga I used to fuck with, you know, uh, that nigga, that nigga came. That, that nigga said, hold on. He finna what? He finna come do what? Man, my boy rolled a blunt. He said, man, T finna beat the shit out this nigga, man. <laughs> When you know your boy got the motherfucking hands, nigga, man, T finna beat the shit out this nigga. He who him? Man, no, nah, that nigga say Gunner got a little squabble. He got heart. I say, oh shit, he gon' he gonna be picking and choosing real hard who he run up on. Cause that heart, you can have all the heart in the world, nigga. Your jaw broke. A broken jaw is a broken jaw. Nigga, knock your eye out the socket, nigga. Nigga, Kimbo slice your ass, nigga. You lost an eye. You yeah, you still got that heart, but you got one eye. You got one, one heart, one eye. You know what I'm talking about? One shot, one kill. Yeah, nigga, so you can have all the heart in the world. I tell niggas all the time. I had a nigga tell me one time, man, I ain't scared. You ain't got to be scared to get your ass beat up in here, partner. I want you. I want you to think you can fucking rumble with me. I want you to think you, you can survive. They give me more time to beat your ass. Yeah, nigga, bring that heart and some band-aids, nigga. And some neosporin, nigga. Some peroxide. You gonna need that shit. You better bring some Vaseline. I'm finna. See these bone ass nigga. I'm finna scar. Man, them motherfucking gloves over there ain't decoration. The other set in the workout room, man. We can. Anyway, fuck out there. Fuck out there. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Uh, that nigga say gonna finna start pressing niggas, man. I wanna see this shit. Yeah, I gotta see this shit. Let's talk about Bun B, man. Bun B say that Hispanics are the biggest hip hop supporters today. A lot of y'all got mad at Bun B, but that's facts. I seen that shit in like 2018. I was on the road with that nigga Young Bleed. Salute the Young Bleed, the legend. I was on the road with Young Bleed. I produced like six track on uh, six tracks on the album he did called What a Life. Y'all go check that out. What a Life by Young Bleed. I produced like six tracks. I went on the road with the nigga. We was in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Everywhere it went, it was like this, but Albuquerque, New Mexico, that shit there was live. All Mexicans and white people. It had a, you know, including us, me, him, and, and Envy. It was, a, it was a few other white people in there. I mean, black people in there. You know what I'm saying? But nigga, when I say all Mexicans, Mexicans, uh, Real Native Americans, not them five dollar, them white Native American, real Native American nigga, uh, and white people. That's who was in there. That's who buying the music. I'ma keep it real. My biggest demographic is Dallas, um, Houston. Um, I gotta, I can go pull it up right now. But anyway, I'll probably post that shit later. But look, I know it's the Mexicans and shit. Mexicans, white people, people overseas. And shit like that, nigga. Overseas fucking with a nigga. That's who rocking with a nigga on TikTok. All all around is black people don't buy music, fam. They'll stream that shit. But black people don't buy music. So y'all got mad at Bun B for nothing. That nigga telling the truth, nigga. It's the Mexicans, the white, the, well, the Hispanics. And uh, cause it's a lot of motherfuckers, it's a lot of different motherfuckers following the Hispanic. I can't just say Mexicans. But the Hispanics, the white people. Um, and if it's black people buying music, it's the women. 
These niggas, <laughs> niggas ain't this. No, Bun B didn't lie, man. That's facts, nigga. When I went out to motherfucking Albuquerque, New Mexico with Young Bleed, nigga, I got the footage on YouTube. You know I keep the receipts. It's on YouTube. Go scroll and see. Nigga, tell me, nigga, all Mexicans, fam. The night before the show, it was this white boy. It was a white boy that was showing us around. He, he pretty much the one that brought us out there. The white boy had took a uh, young bleed to a spot at somebody's crib to record a verse. Got the nigga a feature or whatever, right? Man, we in that bitch, nigga. It's me, Envy, Bleed. The engineer was black. I think he was black. He looked black, but he might have been a Native American. He looked black, though. And there was another dude in there. We was playing a video game and smoking weed. He he had that nigga had long motherfucking hair. He looked like one of the dudes off Yellowstone on my mama. Real deal, Native American nigga on everything. And it was all different Mexicans. He spent. We all was in that bitch chilling. It was beautiful. I ain't gonna count. We was in that bitch smoking weed. I was so comfortable, nigga. Even though I, you know, I keep the fire on me. <laughs> I was so comfortable. I damn near took my gun and put it on the table like fuck it. And took a nap. I damn near took a nap in that bitch. I probably fell asleep for like five minutes. That's how comfortable I was. But them folks show love, my nigga. Them folks show real love. Real shit. Bum B one line, man. Black people not buying no motherfucking music. I'ma just keep that shit real. I gotta keep it a Fox Million. That's facts. Salute to Bum B, man. Now let's talk about cake ass, sucker ass niggas, man. Let's talk about cake ass niggas, man. This nigga Adam 22 reveals that his wife will start shooting porn with other niggas. And the first motherfucker is a black dude. Finna hit her with that slong. And this nigga sitting around, well, you know, I'm cool with the guy. And, uh, you know, uh, I just didn't want to, he didn't want to come off as a hater. What you mean? This ain't your girlfriend. This ain't your side bitch. This ain't some little bitch. This your wife, nigga. Hell yeah, you hate. The fuck is you talking about? See, y'all niggas be goofy than a motherfucker. I already told y'all every girlfriend I ever had cheated on me. I'm out. Y'all niggas be thinking, y'all niggas be thinking that you're proving that you're so masculine and you're such a stand-up man. But, oh, man, she can go do what she want. No, the fuck she can't. Nigga, listen, I'm quick to tell a bitch, baby, you can do whatever you want. Just not over here. No. Not me, bitch. Bitch, please. Bitch, please. Who the fuck you think you... What? What? This nigga trying to act like he ain't fucked up about that shit. Salute to that nigga Crip Mac for keeping that 55th with that nigga. He the only one told him the truth. The rest of them niggas over there kissing ass and, and, and sucking dick. The rest they feet over that motherfucker and no jumper, nigga. They, man, nigga, y'all know goddamn well that white boy fucked up. And this, listen, divorce on the way. And the fact that he's letting his wife fuck niggas and all it. Listen, no prenup. She getting half his shit. The divorce on the way. Them motherfuckers gonna get into an argument one day and he gonna bring that shit up and that bitch gonna realize this nigga a sucker ass, cake ass nigga. And she gonna get the fuck on. And her next boyfriend gonna be black. He gonna be black. Let me tell you something. When we go fuck other bitches, man, we just getting a nut off. We don't give, we don't give a fuck about this bitch, man. We might lie and tell the bitch we love her while we in the pussy. Pussy might be fire, head might be fire. But it ain't no emotions, man. Well, I ain't gonna say, niggas like me, it ain't no emotions, right? But when these bitches go fuck another nigga, I don't give a fuck if it is her job, her porn, her porn job or whatever. I don't give a fuck. If she like that shit, if that nigga hit that motherfucking spot and he able to reach the spot you can't, she gonna double back and it ain't gonna be on camera. And it's gonna be for free. That nigga sitting there trying to act like he ain't fucked up about that shit. Man, boy, boy, shut the fuck up. You fuck, not only are you fucked up about that shit, we all know that the white boy watched the black man's dick more than his bitch. The white boy is more concerned with the black man's dick than his bitch. It's been that way since the beginning of time. Why you think when the black man, he eyeballed the white bitch or did they think the white bitch looking at the black man, they cut the black man's dick off. They castrate the black man. They know, they know the power in the black man's dick. 
He trying to act like he ain't fucked up about that shit. Boy, get your motherfucking goofy ass on, nigga. You got millions of dollars and, well, uh, she knows she's going to get paid. And the, You could have paid the bitch to not do it. That's your wife, nigga. This is your wife. Happy, that's why I be telling y'all that happy wife, happy life shit is goofy. Well, as long as she's happy, but you're not happy. You got to fake like you happy because you got some fucking idea in your mind that this is what it's supposed to be. Because this is what the world telling you is supposed to be. You a fucking goofball, boy. And when you kill that bitch. Because the white boy killed his bitch. The white. Yeah, y'all. The motherfucker talk shit with the black guy put his hand. Yeah, the white boy killed the bitch, though. When he killed that bitch. Now what? When he killed a bitch? Cause it's gonna come out. We gonna find out later that nigga, he never let that shit die down. He ain't, he ain't never let that shit die down. Adam, use a goofball. What a damn sucker. Speaking of goofball ass niggas, Boyce Watkins. This nigga Boyce Watkins. Now I ain't know he said this. He said this a while back. I ain't know he said this shit. He telling black men, he telling men, period, that you should date and or marry single mothers and take care of those children that aren't yours Lord Jesus I'm, I, I gotta drink some water to that mm. nigga what how many times I done came in here and told y'all I'm not a boyfriend I'm not a husband I'm not a fucking stepdaddy. I still got this shit on my finger. You ever had corns on your fingers for squeezing a Mac? Too much, too much training. Listen. That's the most sucker shit I done heard in a while. You should marry the single mother. The bitch got four kids, four baby daddies. You come in and take care of them motherfuckers. I'm just not cut like that. If that's what a real man is, which I know it's not, then man, I ain't that. I ain't that. At all. Boy, I ain't that. That's some sucker ass shit. Boss Watkins, listen. I need you to talk about money and finances only, even though some people say you be stealing money from them. I need you to talk about finances only because, nigga, everybody know you a sucker ass nigga when it come to that goddamn bitch that you got on your motherfucker. I ain't never getting on my knees and asking a bitch to do nothing. If this bitch want to spend the rest of her life with me, she just going to do it. I ain't finna fucking what? Get down. Get down and what? Bitch, what? You better stand on a stool and bring your ass up here, bitch. What you mean? <laughs> Sucker shit. And you, you telling these young men out here to take care of another nigga's motherfucking kids. This bitch got five kids, four baby daddies. And another nigga supposed to come through and take care of these motherfucking kids she got teenagers and shit they got attitudes they don't fuck with you they don't like you you didn't raise them as from babies so nigga they don't even know who the fuck you is they don't respect you but you supposed to come through and deal with the bitch's attitude her daughter's attitude and her son think he can whoop your ass you supposed to come through and take all that young men get you some pussy and go home I got one child, one baby mama. I'm not one of these niggas out here with 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 17 kids and seven baby. I'm not. No, no, no. Let's trust me. Get you some pussy. Go home. You feel me? Don't listen to this suck ass shit these niggas be talking about. These niggas is suckers. These niggas is last resort ass niggas, man. She she brought the pussy to this nigga when it was already ran through. Everybody else shot the club up. Why he ain't got no kids with her? You ain't got no kids with her. She probably don't even want to have no kids. She told you she don't want to have no more kids. Just take care of these motherfuckers I already got. 
Nigga, who, me? Nigga, nigga, what? Don't listen to that nigga, man. Don't listen to no shit like that, man. Don't listen to that. That sucker shit. Don't do that. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. Sucker niggas, we still on that. Larsa Pippen gets half of Scotty Pippen's retirement pension, man. Typical trick behavior. I ain't even gonna... I can't be bad at Larsa at all. Salute to the real 304s out here breaking on these niggas, man. Straight like that. Um, before I close out, I want to talk about something. I was watching Yuck Mouth. All right, honky. You get down. Uh, I was watching Yuck Mouth. And uh, that nigga Yuck Mouth had Corey Holcomb on the show. And Joe Budden claimed that he don't know who Corey Holcomb is. You know the shit with... uh. Melissa Ford and shit He said something about Melissa Ford And he had the wrong person He meant Superhead But he said Melissa Ford or whatever And you know It was a back and forth about that And Joe Budden was like I don't even know who Corey Holcomb is That's a smart move boy <laughs> That's a smart move boy I got a story like that Check this out Story time again i never forget uh, This was like 2012 I said some shit I ain't the only one that said it Why Yellow said it first why yellow bust the do- Why yellow bust the goddamn dough down? For those that don't know who Why yellow is, that's a legend in Shreveport, Louisiana. Really, Louisiana. Really, the whole region. Legendary ass nigga, right? Even though I ain't even get into all that. But yellow, yellow broke the dough down, and motherfucker, uh, and you know, niggas, you know, niggas start speaking. I was one of the motherfuckers that said some shit, right? And uh. The guy that I said something about, his son went to Twitter. For some reason, he just pointed me out. His son went to Twitter and was like, uh, anybody fucking with this Mr. T nigga? We ain't fucking with y'all. Woody, 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 and la, 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 la. So everybody said, fuck me, right? I'm, I think I'm still blackball. Don't mean shit. Don't stop nothing. Anyway, uh, but that nigga said that shit, and then the narrative went from, because Niggas really exposed their hand on that one. But after that, I doubled back and looked at the page and it was deleted. Because now niggas saying, hey, oh, hey, no, 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 no. No shine. Give them no shine. We don't know who that is. Right? Smart fucking move. Because you got motherfuckers out here, nigga. They'll capitalize off that shit. They'll make a pretty penny off that shit. So nigga, when Joe Budden did that shit, I say, boy, that nigga there, he playing chess out this motherfucker. He playing chess out this motherfucker. Cause nigga, who acknowledge people that they don't know? You don't say nothing. You know what I mean? But but th- that was real smart. I ain't gonna need much get, you know, I ain't gonna get too much further into that. But it, the people that was around, if you know, you know. Smart move, Joe Budden. You capping though. You capping like a motherfucker. Okay. It's time to get into it. Remember I was telling y'all earlier. Remember when Steve Harvey said he ain't got no female friends? <laughs> if you a stand-up man. A genuine man. A good man. And you like to see people win. You like to help people. People that's quote-unquote your friends. Male or female. You look out for your people. But when you're a real stand-up man with good intentions and get genuine, you can't have none of these bitches today can be your friend. First of all, they're fake-ass prostitutes. Square-ass prostitutes. They ain't even real hoes. They want to put that pussy on the market, but they're worried about what other people got to say. They were worried about what other people got to think. So they got to go. They got to act like they're your friend. Now, is this one bitch. I've been fucking this bitch since 2012. Busting nuts on her ass. I got videos of the bitch. Busting nuts on her titties. Busting nuts all on her fucked up weave. I'm talking about just all for free. This back when she was fine. The bitch built like a mother. She built like a goddamn Maytag drive now, nigga. But. Guess what? I still thought she was my friend. I thought this was my friend. I ain't gonna cap. 
had love for the bitch. It ain't got nothing to do with the fact we used to fuck. She was never my girlfriend. We just was fuck sometime. I got the bitch from three other niggas. <laughs> I got the bitch from three other niggas, man. <laughs> I ain't gonna say their name or whatever, but it was three other niggas. When I moved to Texas County, I told my when I first moved in, I told my brother, I said, man, what the hoes is that man? Send a bitch a nigga away. You know what I'm talking about? This the bitch. I've been fucking her ever since. For free. Keep that in mind. For free. Right? So just recently, around April, you know the bitch. I got back in contact with the bitch. We was chopping it up for about six months. But in April, she was going through some shit. You know, and one thing about me, I can't stand when a bitch crying. Like, bitch, shut up. You know what I mean? And this my friend, so I want to shut the bitch up, right? So she was telling me about she lived with her mama. Her and her daughter lived with her mama. And she was telling me, talking about, I said, yeah. At the time, her mama was uh looking out for somebody else, and she felt played about that. Oh, I need to get away from these people and woo the woo the woo and all that shit. You know, these hoes be dry big. She started to dry begging on the phone. So when she said it the first time, I was like, uh, if I had the money, I'll just come out there and kick it with you for the weekend. I was like, damn, well, shit, if you, excuse me, if you get the money, let me know, man. You know, I got a spare room in the house and everything, man. You know, let me know if you get the money. That's the first time. She said it again. I just wish I could do, 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 do. You know, I'd come out there with the, with the woo. I was like, well, hey, you know. You can whenever you can, you know, just so we got to the third and fourth time. The third time I finally was like, OK, this bitch dry begging. So I was like, listen, because at the time she was paying day by day with a rental car. I told y'all these bitches be broke as hell. They be they be capping. Look, so uh, the bitch was like, yeah, I would come out there, but I can't afford the car for the weekend. I say, listen, bitch. Now, I give you the if that's what you really want, because one thing about me, I speak very highly of the peace that's going on in my life. Shh, listen. You hear that? That's peace. I speak very highly of the peace that's going on in my life. And I'm explaining to her like, listen, baby, you need peace in your life. You need to you need to be where the peace at. Your life is chaotic. These whole lives be chaotic than a motherfucker. Your life is chaotic. You need to be where the peace at. Well, I would come down there. Listen. All right. I would give you the money. I'm your friend. I want to see you win. I want to see you happy. So if you coming down here for a weekend to discover this great peace, if that's what's going to make you happy, I'm your friend. But listen, I'll give you the money, but you're going to pay me back. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're going to pay me back. Right. Oh, yeah. You know, I start my new job next week. She was working at this grocery store named Tom's out there in Irvin, Texas. And she was like, yeah, when I start working up there, I'm going to pay you back. You know, as soon as I get my money, I'm going to pay you back because you live with your mama. You don't pay your mama shit. I talked to your mama for about two, three hours one day. I know what's popping. If your mama get mad at me for this, I don't give a fuck. Ain't nobody gonna fuck. Anyway, um, you don't pay your mama shit. Now listen, when y'all go see the amount of money, because you know I got the receipts, hit the cash app, hit the PayPal, I give you the receipts. I might just post it anyway, just so you know y'all know how I am. I gotta put the receipts on it. When you see the amount of money, some of y'all gonna say I'm tripping. The rest of y'all gonna say this bitch a crackhead. I gave you that money April 7th. April 7th. Friday makes July 7th. That's three months. But here's where, here's where the square prostitution come in, right? This bitch thought, now, go back to what I said. I've been fucking this bitch since 2012, skeeting on her and everything, man. For free. I ain't, <laughs> say I'm lying. I'm going to pull, I'm going I'm, to I'm, 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 I'm bring the people that was there. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to 
I'm gonna give you the money. Woo, 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 woo. Now, I didn't just give it to her. If you can make it out here, then I'll give you the money. Cause I don't trust no fucking body. I run off on me. Now I gotta come find your bitch ass. Right? So uh the bitch get out here. And you know, I said, hey, now we face to face. I say, hey. You gonna have to pay me this back. Oh yeah, you know I got you. Woo -doo -woo -doo -woo. Now when the bitch got here, keep this in mind. She had weed. She had liquor when she got here. <laughs> but that same night, I had to buy her daughter pieces. You couldn't feature. Lord, these the bitches that's out here, right? These the bitches that's out here now. I know some of y'all gonna be like, why you was associated with a bitch like this? This was my friend. It is, hey, we all got dumb ass fucked up friend. I thought she was my friend. I'm trying to look out. Now here's where the square of prostitution kick in. This bitch thought that if she came down here and sucked my dick, that was going to clear her motherfucking debt. Bitch. Now, mind you, I told y'all she fell off. She ain't fine. The bitch built like a fucking Lego Tonka truck. The bitch built like a motherfucking... The bitch built like a sofa. Okay? Nigga not checking for this bitch. Your life chaotic. You're not attractive. You suck a mean dick. But like that nigga radio say, I take both. I take both. I want my money. I gamble with my life, not my money. Y'all know that. I want my money. But if you want to suck a nigga dick and you and you forcefully suck the nigga dick let me explain that now i got an extra room set up for her and her daughter she insists on coming to lay down with me so i'm like okay anybody know me you can ask any bitch a bitch can be butt naked i ain't gonna touch you so nigga i rolled over and give the bitch my back huh <laughs> yeah it, it, it ain't like that Man, you know I'm a skinny nigga. Look, I'm a skinny nigga. Man, that big bitch grabbed me, flipped me over, and got to work. Once again, I'm sitting there like, okay, I take both. Only you lame ass niggas would have been sitting there like, oh my god, please stop. We're friends. We're not gonna do that. Please stop. Not me, nigga. Who me? Yeah, you don't suck a nigga dick, man. This regular shit to me. This regular shit. So. Bitch, leave, go home. Now, month went by. I had to send the bitch a whole business invoice, right? And she put a little money on it. But you're going around acting like you didn't agree to pay me back. Now, I can go into more details about this. But I'm going to just stop it right there and inform these young men that these trash ass bitches can't be your friend. They're not your friend. They square ass prostitutes. They really want to put their pussy. In. This girl thought that since she sucked my dick, that she wouldn't have to pay me my money back. She thought that what we agreed on just go out the window. No. No. You wanted to suck my dick. What I'm gonna do? Tell you to stop? You suck a mean dick. But I want my money. When y'all see the amount of money, I was talking to my sister about it. The bitch added my sister on Facebook and shit. She was trying to make it seem like, hold on, bitch, what you doing? I've been fucking you since 2012. You ain't never been my bitch. You can never be my bitch. How many times I told you this? Yo mama know you can never be my bitch. We just cool. We friends. I thought we was friends. See, you, you motherfuckers be out here. Let me, let me say this too. Six months from now, you're going to pay physically, mentally, and spiritually. Your excuse is, well, I'm trying to get my car back. Six months from now, you're going to be living in that car. Your mama don't even want to do shit for you. But, you know, sometimes your parents make mistakes and they feel guilty and they feel like they owe you something. You don't owe this bitch nothing. She living. She here. It's all on you now. Gunplay voice. It's all on you now. You're here. My mama used to be fucked up towards a nigga, man. 
I don't bother my mama. My life can be in shambles. I ain't bothering my mama, man. I ain't stressing out my mama. My grandma, nobody. It's all on me now. But let me say this. When your mama done with you, because it's coming. Once again, I talked to that lady for like three hours. I can pull up the receipts on that too. She claims she's going to get me my money. <laughs> she she don't even know her daughter like that. That bitch will get paid and, 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 and run off on both of us. She'll go, because you a trick ass bitch. Y'all know how the fat bitches is. When they get fat, they got a trick. Bitch get a motherfucking hotel. That bitch get her check. Go get a hotel room. Trick off with some some low life ass nigga. She gotta pay for the room, the weed, the liquor. She gotta pay for everything, the food, everything. And all she gonna get is some dick. That's all the bitch care about. Right? My sister say, man, I had to kick that bitch off my Facebook page. This goof ass bitch, man. Look at the shit she be talking about. Oh, goof ass bitch. And come to find out, you owe my brother. A very small amount When you see the amount of money You gonna need to say I'm tripping Or this bitch a crackhead And it's not even really about the money Man you fucked over somebody that can Put shelter to, That can give you and your child shelter You claim your family don't fuck with you You claim all these people don't fuck with you I see why now You a piece of shit You don't fuck over people that help you When you fucked up you don't do that. You wonder why you in that same fucking cycle of failure, nigga. You reap what you sow. You reap what you don't sow too. You gonna do some reaping. Physically, mentally, and spiritually. It's coming. Yeah, it's coming. You gonna deal with that. You gonna pay for that. You gonna pay for that. And but before I leave, let me say this. The next time you see your child's sperm donor, low life trash, 40 year old nigga, seven kid, I mean, seven baby mamas, trash. What the fuck you even let a nigga like that nut in you for? Just trash. Just trash. What makes you think you could be my woman? Just trash. But when you see that nigga, you might as well start shooting. When you see that nigga, listen to me. When you see that nigga, you better run for your life or start shooting. He's highly upset. And before I get out of here, I just want to let y'all know. I might I might break this down some more on the next episode or, or, or do a live or something, right? Because it's a lot more I can say. But when y'all see that amount of money, you're either going to say I'm tripping or the bitch you crackhead. You don't fuck over the people that looked out for you when you fucked up. Motherfuckers be saying shit like, man, won't nobody help me? This person fucked up. My mama this, my sister that. They always fucking over me. No, you fucking over yourself. You blame the niggas. Talking about, yeah, man, you know, that guy just ruined me. No, bitch, you ruined yourself trying to make a low life piece of shit happy. The nigga got 50 kids, seven baby mamas, and you decided to be number eight. You did that to your motherfucking self, bitch. Because a nigga light skin or, or, or you think the nigga cute. He got some waves or he got some muscles or <laughs> that nigga live with his grandma. Any nigga that's 40 years old living with his grandma ain't supposed to be fucking nobody. And I mean nobody. I don't give a fuck what community. He ain't supposed to be getting no type of pleasure. But I'm telling you now, when you see, next time you see that nigga, because remember you told me about uh, about a month or two ago, that nigga jumped out in traffic and damn near kidnapped your ass, threw you in the truck, beat your ass up. You had to call the police and shit. Listen, next time you see that nigga, you better run for your life or just shoot at his ass. Because ain't no telling what he going to do now. You're fucked up physically, mentally, spiritually. You're going to feel that. And keep in mind. The life that you save will be your own. Red
to see a nigga down. Them hate nights. They don't want to see me ball. They don't want to see me on. They better see a nigga all. Them hate nights. They don't want to see me making niggas smiling in my face, but at the same time hating. They smiling in my face, but at the same time hating. Trying to be my round, but at the same time snaking. Them hate nights. Them snake eyes. Them face smiles. Better watch out for them haters in the sky. Them hate nights. Them snake eyes. Them face smiles. Better watch out for them haters in the sky. The most motherfuckers don't want to see you do your thing. And most motherfuckers don't throw salt off in your game. And most motherfuckers don't try to mess up your name. Trying to pinpoint the hate, but it could be your main man. Chopped it up and he rolled. Them niggas started hating shit. Fuck it, that's how I go. I know what time it is, so damn it on. Look, time up. Don't let them niggas breathe. You drop them, I'm shooting them up. Sixteens, I chew them up. I shit them repeat, I'm clutch. LeBron, now nah, I'm Jordan. This is Elvis Presley record. Ray Charles vision of you, bro. He just state that you bore. Then fuck the baddest bitches. My niggas deny the story. Until them bitches see me and hate the way I ignore them. I food the loot export. Fuck it, I think I'm nice. Get it right. The only niggas I'm running from flash. Lights. Convictions piss me off, I ain't even sleeping at night So nigga, what you hating for? Hey, this that new dope, that shit you gotta pay for <laughs> With your hate nine. Hey, nice, hey, nice. 